So uh, we need to use logarithmic differentiation to find dy dx for the function y equals one third times the square root of x times e to the x squared plus one. All right, so let's do this. Natural log of y is equal to the natural log of one third times the square root of x times e to the x squared plus one. All right, so now using our log logarithmic rules, because these are all multiplied together, we can rewrite this as the natural log of one third plus the natural log of, instead of writing the square root of x, I'm gonna write x to the one half. And then plus the natural log of e to the x squared plus one. Now, another thing we know is, again, using logarithmic rules, natural log of x to the one half is the same as one half ln of x. So let's rewrite that here. Natural log of one third plus one half times the natural log of x. And then we also know that the natural log times the exponential, the natural log of the of the exponential function to some power is just that power. So we have ln of e to the x squared plus one becomes x squared plus one. All right, so now we're ready to take the derivative. So the derivative of the natural log of y is equal to one over y times dy dx, okay? So now I'm gonna take the derivative of the natural log of one third as you know, this is a constant. The natural log of a constant is zero, so I'm not gonna write anything. Then we have the natural log of a constant times, I mean, then we have the derivative of, the, of one half times the natural log of x. So we have one half times the natural log of x, the derivative of that is one over x times the derivative of x, which is one. So we have one half times one over x, plus the derivative of x squared is two x, and then the derivative of one is zero, so just, we can rewrite this as one over two x plus two x. So then, last but not least, we wanna, we're looking for dy dx. How do we do that? We multiply both sides by y or divide both sides by one over y. So, dy dx is therefore equal to the quantity of one over two x plus 2x times y. And if we want only y's in this equation, it's equal to one over 2x plus 2x times one third times square root of x times e to the x squared plus one. Now, you can further multiply this, you know, one over two x times one third is one over six x, square root of x, e to the x squared plus one, two x, all that, you know. You can multiply that, but it's not gonna look that much simpler, so you can leave your answer like this.